Now, I just want to tell you what we've been able to do with that money. So, we are, of course, an institute and a program that is devoted to both patient care and to changing patient care. And the way we change patient care is we do research. We do research in the laboratory, we do research in the clinic. Um, and that is how the world will be a different place for cancer patients in the future. And what we have chosen to do is, with these funds, make sure that every single patient who has metastatic breast cancer is assigned to a specific study coordinator so that we can, this is a research study coordinator, so that we can reduce the barrier for anyone participating in research. Now sometimes that research is participation in new drug therapies, clinical trials, and we enroll about 400 patients a year on clinical trials in our breast cancer program. But sometimes there are studies that look at the kind of work Jennifer has been very involved in, looking at the effect of exercise or diet. And sometimes it's tissue collection studies. Very often it's tissue collecting, collection studies so that we can work with our colleagues in the laboratory and try to understand why one drug works and another one doesn't in a given woman's tumor. Now, let's see if I can remember all four reasons. But there are four reasons why we feel that having this approach with these study coordinators is so critical. One is, of course, as I mentioned, we want to lower the barriers for participation in clinical research. Second, it's never a bad thing to have somebody on your care team. Um, and even though this is a research person, it's someone who's, who's going to be very involved um, with with that patient, and particularly for our patients who live at a distance, who may be getting a great deal of care in Bangor, Maine, or in Toledo, Ohio, or someplace else, this is someone who can keep in touch with them. Um, third, we want to send a message, and we want to send a message both within our program and outside of our program, that we view research and clinical work as going entirely hand in hand. And this is a way of integrating. And finally, and this is just an added bonus, is that these people we hire, these are our leaders in the future. The people who take these kinds of jobs are the doctors and nurses and PhD researchers who are going to make a difference five years and 10 years and 15 years from now. And I think it is fair to say that there is no way we would be able to fund a program like this. And of course, ultimately, we're going to have to make sure that, that, that these funds are well used and that the program is working, although I have a great, great and strong belief that it will be hugely successful. But we couldn't do this without philanthropic funds. And so Team Darby, um, and others who contribute to this effort allow us to do something that truly, in my mind, no other cancer center has been able to do. And I think it's really going to make a difference in, in everything that we do.